Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. I wanted to show you um, my my estate sale, I guess, um, finds that I got yesterday. Uh, thanks to Terry Rankin. Thank you, Terry. Um, she always is on the lookout for vintage books because she knows how much I love them. And she sent me a link yesterday. It was on Facebook Marketplace, I guess. And uh, it was in Shelbyville, which is about an hour and a half from my house. But I got a friend of mine, and we rode um, together. And it was a fun ride just to go there and back. But this uh, home uh, was a woman who just lost her mother three weeks prior. And they were having to sell all of her things um, that no one wanted, I guess. And so her selling them, I mean, it was ridiculously priced and she was so sweet and I just felt my heart just went out to her because of the situation but anyway thanks Terry and I want to show you what I got a set of encyclopedias or look at these cover this cover and they are have been loved so you know they've got some worn edges but most of them are in perfect condition look at the inside of these is that not beautiful um, but the copyright date is 1949 this is Compton's pictured encyclopedia and fact index interesting accurate up-to-date and I just love them. I've looked through them and found some goodies inside. Um, some of, There are a few volumes that have some pages that are torn. Um, and this is a picture of the editor-in-chief. But I just wanted to show you some of these. Here's a, you know, one, a torn page. In volume 1. There are 15 volumes. And these pictures and things... Uh, they're alphabetical, of course, and this is volume one, which has A. And there's airplane. I mean, just amazing. There's Africa, as it was in 1949. Some of the pictures are just fabulous. Um, and you can see they're in just wonderful condition. Here's Asia in 1949, and we all know that's changed. The first federal government of the United States. And this is under Articles. Articles of Confederation. The first state constitution. Um, Etc. And this is valuable because they're rewriting our history. And uh, I have it preserved as of 1949 anyway. Which is amazing. So... That's volume one. I don't want to show you every volume. I'll just do a quick flip of some, but they're just, the covers are just amazing. I don't know if I can bring myself to deconstruct them. I might use some of the pages by copying them, um, you know, in my journals, not to sell. I love these inside papers. Um, here's some butterflies and moths, and some of the pictures are just fabulous. There's black and white and color. Like, look at that page. The Life History of a Butterfly. Isn't that pretty? And flip through. Industrial stuff. Here's your brain. Isn't this awesome? Birds. It's got some pretty um, bird pictures, too. Haven't gotten to those yet. Oh, here we go. Look at that little girl looking at that birdhouse. And these. They're pretty. And it has that old book smell, which I love. Look at how beautiful. Flamingo Jovi, have you watched this? That one's a little torn, so I've got to get some scotch tape, and I want to vintage it up and put it on some of these tears so that it goes with the look of the book. 
Look at that. There's the mama bird and her babies. All of these. They're just so cute. And there's another one I have to that's torn. But these are well loved. Um, bibliography. Look at that. This is the little Bible referred to in the text. It measures without the cover one and a quarter inches by one and a quarter inches. You can read it very plainly by using a magnifying glass. That's got to be the smallest Bible in the world. Isn't that awesome? You got the vinegar Bible, the thumb Bible. There's all kinds of um, Bibles. The devil's Bible. Wow, I need to read this. Um, but, you know, it's just the history of the Bible. Um, here's some beetles. Look at that bee. Oh, luscious pictures for a bee journal. Beekeepers. Look at these. It's a beaver. Bears, I mean, you know, just awesomeness. Um, so, I don't want to go through all, but there were a few. I wanted you to see um, a few of the pictures, so I'm going to speed up. Camels. And I'm not sure I may sell some of these books break the set up it's 15 volumes um i haven't decided but if anyone thinks they might be interested in purchasing one of the volumes you can let me know um, i will be keeping some or all but if i decide to sell them let me know because i can list them on etsy um, as a special order is the way I would do it if someone's interested in purchasing one of these books and you can let me know and then we can private message and I can let you know what I decide on the price because these are just beautiful I'm afraid I mean I'm gonna have a let's see this I've got to tape down this is F. Dinosaurs, even fossils. Folklore. This has some cool pictures in the folklore part that I really like. Flowers. Look at some of these flower pictures. They're beautiful. I think I'm almost out of frame. Here we go. Aren't they pretty? Bloods, flags. There's my dog. Sorry. Fish, fishy freaks from the ocean depths. <laughs> anyway, awesome books. So now through this one real quick. This is volume six, which is G. Herons and hemp. How the heart and the blood serve the body of man. You can see how beautiful these illustrations are. Got a hare, which is a rabbit. Here's some gulls and terns. Different countries and more maps. Grasshoppers, canyon, golf. Look at that picture. A masterpiece of glasswork. That is supposedly a blown glass piece by Leopold Bloschka and his son Rudolph. Beautiful rhododendron 
life-size glass flower and plant. Wow, that looks like a real flower. So it's glass making. Cool stuff. And then this one. Wait, seven. Just the eyes. This, I don't think, goes in this book, but that's Walt Disney. If it does, it's in a different page. Motion pictures, so it wouldn't be in this one, but I'm leaving it in there for now. Indians. Japanese print of the 18th century. Isn't that gorgeous? That's my favorite word in my videos. I've noticed I say gorgeous a lot. and that, I need to try to find some synonyms and mix it up a little bit. So that's that one. Just giving you guys a quick look through so you can let me know. Volume 8. Kangaroos. Look at that. And this is K and L. You have a fact index. Look, it's got some really cool um, questions, facts, and things like that. A dragons. Lima. Libraries for children. This I love. It's libraries. This section. Look at all the pictures um, that we'll see right through right here. It's called the old first Pinocchio marionette. List of books for children's own libraries for children under three years old. There's one that's torn I need to fix. I love this image. Feeding birds. And then this I've got to prepare. Cool. Another. Very few volumes had torn pages, and uh, most of them, you know, the, piece, the torn parts are still there, so I can um, tape it, or if someone were to buy one, they could. This is M. that picture. Mary Stewart rebukes Elizabeth. That was England, I believe. Marie Antoinette. Antoinette. That's awesome. I'm just in awe of these. Look at these. Screen favorites of the early days. Isn't that cool? Little mouse. Ew. I don't like mouses. I like fake mouses. Mouses. May Day Parade in Red Square. There's the moon. Here's some more maps. Monkeys. I like monkeys. Maps. Anyway, get the idea on that one. So basically, you just tell me by the letter of the alphabet, if you can remember. Um, and some, maybe, you may want one that I'm not selling, but I would let you know that. Nails, that's so cool. And this is obviously ends. The, the fact index has definitions um, and facts about things. Easy reference fact index. So this is N and O. There's oysters, oxygen, Oxford. There's owls. It's got some pretty owl images. Look at these. Pretty. I love these illustrations. The Screecher Learned to Hunt. The story of a young owl. That's actually a little story in the middle of this encyclopedia. Here's some different types of owls. That's an otter. 
in Oregon. Operas. I mean, it's, and again, as of 1949. And in one of these, I mean, it has the presidents up to that time. Look at the buffaloes. Um, in every one of these two. Um, and in the P's for President Pierce, um, my, I always thought he was my great, 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 great grandfather, but depending on what you read, he either, he didn't have children and some, look at the family of Robins. Um, and, and then some stories say he, he was married. So I, I don't really know. I need to research that. But in any case, he was either an uncle or a grandfather and he was vice president to the, of the United States under President Pierce. And he had served in the Senate or Congress one, or Congress. Um, look at that. So that was really cool to see him listed. And I have another book I got from Terry Rankin. I bought from her um, that had um, his, his name in it. It was just that exact one. And there were even notes handwritten beside William Rufus King Jr., who was part of my family. These are peas. Prisons. It's got prayer in here. And then um, it's, it's got Jesus Christ and Christianity um, under those. That was a porcupine. It's just cool. I love these. Um, look at that. Pope Pius the Twelfth. These are amazing encyclopedias. I just... Like I said, I don't, I don't know if I can part with them or not. The covers are luscious. All the covers look exactly like that. Some are, you know, thicker than others. This is um, volume 12 with Q's and R's. Russia. There's the Russia back in 1949, which we know does not look like that any longer. This says Russia is not a country, it is a world. And it used to be, honestly. Um, so there's some history about that. Rugs, look at that picture. Love that. That's a gem of silk and gold. Rubber tire making. That's advanced, I'm sure. Got President Roosevelt, Roman history, Rocky Mountains. I mean, just there's a torn page. Isn't that cool. Just want to give you a good flip through of each one. This is volume 13, which is S. Look at that saber tooth tiger, giant cat that once roamed America. So you've got Shakespeare in here, swimming. Look at those images of the horse. That's a ginormous horse is there. Gulliver's Travels. It's a flaming storms on the sun's face. Talks about the sun. Storytelling. This has some really cute pictures. Look at all these. And this is that really thick kind of paper. Um, that's really nice paper. You can tell these are quality encyclopedias. Look at that tornado. Oh my word. This is in Nebraska. Isn't that cool? It wasn't cool to the people that had to experience it, but... Look at the kids with the stilts. Huh. Um, constellations or stars. 
spiders. Ew. Some more maps. South Dakota. South America. Snakes. Ew. Building a ship. Beautiful pictures. Sculptures. Scorpions. Look at the Sea of Sand. So anyway, that's the S's. And T's through V's. So you have volcanoes. Here says the volcano that leaped out of a cornfield. It's in Mexico. Wow. That's, a, that's cool. See, I didn't know about that. You can learn a lot. There was some varmints. Volcano there. Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius. I'm sure many of you have heard of that. Venezuelos. Venice. Air view of Venice. See Venice back in the day? Built from the sea. I've been there. It's such a beautiful uh, ta uh, city. Gondoliers. We got to ride um, in one of those. Gondola. Gondolier, I think, is the person that rows the boat. Memory of a lifetime. These are little pieces of paper I found in that the kids that had used it. Because the lady I got these from, she said she used these when she was a little girl. So she had brothers, at least one brother I know of, maybe more. But they used these in school. So it's really cool. And some of the stuff that I found in them, there's the U.S. as of 1949. Isn't that neat? Look at the beautiful trees. Tennis. Tennessee. Yay, that's where I am. There's a panda bear. Taxidermist art. Wow, because I was thinking, why is a panda bear under the T's? But it's a picture of a, something a taxidermist did, which is art. I need to mend that page. The Hunt of the Unicorn in Tapestry. Isn't that pretty? Boho. <laughs> it was the Taj Mahal, and that page is gone. Last but not least, Volume 15, which you can imagine, the W through Z. W. There's Z, or Zinc, and Zeus. Look at that pretty zebra. There's a detective of industry, x-rays, that was X's, W's now. Winning back the Philippine Islands, breaking through Japan's defenses. Wow, 1944. All these pictures. Singapore, Battle of Bataan, attacking Germany from the air. This is so interesting. The Second World War, in case anybody didn't know. The United States goes to war. It's a battleship Arizona that was destroyed at Pearl Harbor. Wow, in 1941. I've never seen that picture before. Golden Wings Learn to Fly, the story of a baby flicker. I love that it has these little stories in these books, too. These are just awesome encyclopedias. 
And I even thought about selling the entire set, but I'm just not sure I could do it. If somebody paid me enough money, I could, I guess. But um, this is such a treasure. So thank you so much, Terry, for turning me on to this. Now I want to show you just a few other little things I got at the same home. One is in the living room. I got an antique baby bed or a doll baby bed for my great granddaughter to um, play with with her dollies. And it is so cute. So now I want to show you a few other things. These were in the encyclopedias. That wasn't, sorry. That is not it. Look at this. This was a Mother's Day card. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Mesmerizing. I'm trying to use another word besides gorgeous. I, I just hate that they let that go with love and gratitude. But all they wrote was Lavery and Fay. I mean, it was for Mother's Day. Wouldn't you say, love you, Mom? Thank you for all you did. Look at that embossing. It's a beautiful card. It was in the encyclopedias. This <laughs> was a senior supplement dated 1987. She had stuck in there. And there's more that I'll get to. I don't know where they are. Look at this. This was, um, she just threw this in and gave it to me. It looks like it was for a doll. It's tatted. A little bonnet. Isn't that beautiful? Or a newborn baby's head. I don't know. This is a little bonnet. This one's very old. Lined. That's sweet. And look at this sweet dress. I don't know if this was for a doll or um, for a real baby or not, but it's certainly old. So, I want, I, well, look at there. That obviously is for a doll. So, I got those, especially that tatted thing. That is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is a book, The Silver Curlew. Look at the inside. This was from the North Nash High School, Nashville, Tennessee. Love the inside pages. This is one I could get from 1954. It's got some cool um, images kind of throughout. Mother cuddling, coddling and her family. And just there's a, maybe they were in Denmark or Holland or somebody wrote something. Change the statements and sentences, Tuesday. Somebody used this for a school book. Some beautiful um, images in this book. This one's in great condition, other than the few handwritten things, but I like that kind of stuff when people have the witching wood, um, when people write in them, it just makes it more, like to me, these are all part of this family. Uh, Nimmy Nimmy Not, <laughs> your name is Tom Tit Tot, that, look at that fairy or angel. Midnight Fairy, that was called. And then I got the for real date due and the book thing. And then these were in. Hall permit for Wix. Isn't that cute? And then that's just a special offer on a book subscription. So I wanted to keep those. Isn't that neat? Love it. 
then I have um, look at this this is well well loved but old McDonald had a farm I haven't seen this one like this little golden book Racine Wisconsin and the it's 1960 but it looks much older than that <laughs> the year my sister was born so I definitely am going to do something with this Maybe a little golden book and fix up that cover this was cool she had it for 10 cents I don't like that they put these stickers on them but luckily this one I can might can try to get off loud and clear oral reading and linguistics um, and the copyright on this is 1969 but it's just cool you've got some really neat images and reading stories these cool riddles how words were made Isn't that just neat and I got Alice in Wonderland and somebody wrote their little name in there looks like it might be trying to say Kimberly but it's in pencil so I can erase it this is from 1951 but it's in pretty good shape and I've been wanting to also on my long list of to do's is an Alice in Wonderland book a uh, little golden book here were just some random dictionary pages I don't know how old these are that were inside one of the dictionaries I'm sorry encyclopedias this was a vintage card that, or envelope this is not part of the encyclopedias but about Bach on this side Arabia Babylonia Syria on that side I'm not sure what that went with another dictionary page these things were all tucked in the encyclopedias this says now pictures can be found this is talking about the picture encyclopedias lots of tables it's telling you about the tables that are in them here's another one that's um, about cotton and what have you the same kind of thing look here <laughs> and another baby drew on that and I love this this is somebody's homework Roosevelt Franklin D and they wrote just a little page about it in pencil and that's a memory this is a blank birthday greetings card so not written or signed on so that would be awesome this is a food register when someone passes away um, it's from Shelbyville but it's old so I'm sure it wasn't for this lady that passed away that neat so I have that then I have this the little a big little golden book old friends new friends Isn't that cute and it's from 1986 so it's not as old but it's neat I have high trails which was a reading book 1960 and you've got how to pronounce things and the definitions in the back because it was a school book glass handle with care those are cool pull that out I haven't looked through this one to see if there's anything stuck in because you always look if you get vintage books look inside because sometimes people tuck away things inside and you it's a treasure that you find and uh, I think I found several in here uh, I found uh, in one Bible that I got 13 13 four leaf clovers I can't believe it they were pressed in the Bible this is my one of my favorite things it's a culinary arts Institute encyclopedic cookbook and it is look at these images absolutely beautiful and it was the year I was born I didn't even notice that when I bought it 1958 edition and it's got all kinds of wonderfulness in here and there were there are handwritten recipes look at this chess pie I can't believe they didn't want to keep these fudge pie chocolate pie so I'll be keep I want to leave them in here for now but I'll be using those and there were several other um, handwritten recipes in this book 
I, this to me was definitely a score treasure I just so blessed that I found this and those encyclopedias so thank you thank you Terry here's some more of the handwritten recipes I'm thinking that's just how to make custard and um, custard and um, meringue icing cornbread dressing see and that's, that's just awesome Look at that. I can tell it's old. 1958. My birth year, so I will make copies of some of the pages to use in my journals, but I'm not going to tear this one up. Gorgeous book. So that was another fun thing that I got. So thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you. Know you're loved. I love you guys and look forward to seeing you in my next video, which will be soon. Bye-bye.